Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm down at Mooresville Ford. We're going to take a look at their 2022 Ford F-150 Lariat. So huge shout out to them for providing this truck for me today. Make sure you guys check out their website. All that info is down in the description. The F-150 that you see behind me is finished off in rapid red metallic with a list price just over $68,000. To start off today's review, we're going to look at what powers this F-150 because there's a few different engine options. This model here has the 5 liter V8 paired to the 10 speed automatic transmission. It pumps out 400 horsepower around 6,000 RPM and 410 pound feet of torque around 4,200 RPM. That power is sent to the rear wheels, however this does have the optional four wheel drive system. It weighs in just under 5,000 pounds. It'll do zero to 60 around six seconds up to its top speed of 130 miles an hour. And it has a fuel capacity of 26 gallons. You'll expect to see around 16 miles per gallon in the city and 22 out on the highway. This has a wheelbase of 145 inches. Its overall length is 231.7. It has a width of 79.9, a height of 77.2, and its ground clearance measures in at 9.4 inches. As we move on to the exterior styling now for this F-150, let's start off with all of the chrome that this specific model has. So it surrounds the Ford logo front and center as well as the rest of the grill and the entire bumper is finished off in chrome. This has all the parking sensors as well nicely incorporated in that bumper as well as two chrome tow hooks. There's also a lower air dam just to help better improve with aerodynamics. And this also has LED headlights, DRLs, and turn signals. And you'll see the DRL surrounds the entire outside as well as wrapping around the LED fog lights down below. The turn signal is right in the middle. It's a really cool design. And then up on the hood, there are really nice lines coming down it, just giving it some bulges here and there to really match nicely with the front end design. And as we work our way to the side, this has a set of 20 inch wheels with the six spoke design finished off in chrome to match the rest of the chrome. There's really nice lines in the fender arches just above it to give it some good contoured lines. The F-150 Lariat badge is finished off in chrome as well as these power folding side mirrors. They do feature the integrated turn signal and up top this has a full moon roof which I'll show from the interior later. The side steps are finished off in chrome as well as the door handles. There's even more chrome on the lower section of the window trim. Really nice lines in that rear fender arch as well as in the lower section of the door as well. And this truck does have the short bed, so it's very proportional, it looks very nice. The FX4 off-road badge is on the back as well, along with the side exit exhaust, which you can see on this passenger side. And then in the rear, this has the backup camera, along with the Ford logo front and center. F-150 is stamped in the lower section of the tailgate. This does have LED taillights. The entire rear bumper is finished off in chrome with parking sensors incorporated into them. And this has a towing capacity right around 11,000 pounds. But let's work our way to the bed space now. I can use the button underneath the chrome trim to open that up or double tap this button on the key fob. It has the soft open so it will automatically lower, which is a really nice feature to have. And then once inside this bed, there are some cargo lights as well as this adapter here. You could hook up tools or any equipment that you may have along with the tie down hooks. So it's a very spacious bed for all of those items. And then on the tailgate, there's even a ruler. So that way, if you're working on wood, you're cutting something, or you just need to measure, you have the ruler, you have some flat spots here where you can place water bottles or tape measures, something like that, along with pens, whatever you may have. Really cool to see that. Along with these spots on both sides where you could put clamps. So if you are cutting wood, you can safely secure it to the tailgate. And this even has the bed step. So if I just push the button in the middle, I can retract that step and then also pull out the handle. Makes it really easy to enter and exit this bed, especially if you're using this as a work truck, you can get in and out very easily. And then it's just a reverse process to lower the handle, put the step back into the bed. And then with one hand, I can easily close it up. Even with the addition of that step, it's really not all that heavy of a tailgate. But now let's move on to the back seats. And by grabbing the chrome door handle, we can open this up where the door panel has some really nice materials. There's a denim-like fabric on the upper section with really nice silver stitching, leather on the armrest, a dark trim piece on the front section of the release handle, which is nicely hidden away. There's a little bit of storage for a drink or other items along with a wood trim piece, the window control. This also has the upgraded Bang & Olufsen sound system and a split design in the door panel. A little bit of storage up top and the length in the lower section there will give you a lot more storage. And at 5'10", it's time to work my way into the back with the sidestep and the grab handle. Definitely makes it much easier to enter and exit. 
With the front seat set at my height, I have plenty of room for my feet and my legs. There's also some storage space behind both front seats. And I have around an inch or so above my head. Plenty of room for three full-size adults to fit back here, which is great to see. Even with the limited headroom here, it's a very comfortable seat to be in. Right in the middle, there is an armrest with two cup holders if you need to use those. This also has the electronic sliding rear glass that you can open and close as needed. Along with the full moonroof, which I mentioned earlier, we'll open this up once I get to the front seats. Right in the middle are two cup holders along with a little bit of storage in the middle. There's two air vents along with the heated seat controls. So we have heated seats for the outer two. There's a 12 volt underneath that along with a USB, USB-C and a three prong outlet. Very nice to see those accommodations for your backseat passengers. And what I love about these seats is you can actually flip them up so I can grab the bottom rest and lock it into place. There's a small divider so you can place smaller items on one side so they don't roll around. And then when you flip up both of the bottoms, gives you that much more interior storage if you need to utilize it. Really nice flat surface for any of those items. And then with a pull of a tab, you can lower down the seat and now you are ready for backseat passengers. Really versatile for the back of this truck. And before we make our way to the interior, this does have remote start. So if I lock it and then double tap on that button, it will start right up. Really nice feature to have. You can also tell that the side mirrors have folded when you lock it. You can shut it off just by double tapping that button if you need to. And then there's three different ways to lock and unlock this. We can use the key fob, the button on the door handle, or even the keypad that is located up top. And on this door panel, just like the rear one, we have all of those same materials, a ton of space in the lower section. All of the window controls and the side mirror adjustments are in front of that, along with the memory seating adjustments and lock and unlock. And looking at these black leather seats again, really nice design. There's this dark piping running down both sides. And these are automatic seats, so all of those adjustments are down on the side, along with all of the chrome trim, which gives it a great accent. And then we have that side step along with the grab handle to hop up into this truck. Definitely a lot of space with that door all the way open. The steering wheel is finished off in black leather with more silver stitching and that dark trim that was on the door panel. On this left side is all the cruise and adaptive cruise control settings along with the lane keeping assist, volume and Bluetooth controls. There's a few more over on this right side along with all of these that will control that digital gauge cluster. But first we need to fire this up with my foot on the brake. That button is over on this right side. We can bring this to life. And coming back to this digital gauge cluster, over on the left side is the TAC, on the right side is the miles per hour, and then running across the top is some fixed information like your fuel level, engine and oil temperature, and some other vitals. And just underneath that, there's a lot more info to go through using those buttons I showed over on the right side. If you go into my view, you can customize what is being pulled up right now. So in this case, there's the fuel economy along with trip information, and then you can add and delete screens just depending on what you'd like to see. So shortcuts to be able to get to that information. There's also trip and fuel. Truck information will show some various items like tire pressure, your off-road settings, so you can look at your pitch and roll as well as the degrees for the steering wheel. And you'll notice too with this configurable gauge cluster, it completely changes when you go through that information. Really cool to see that. There's also seat belts, engine information, along with the driver assistance. So it's cool to have all that front and center. You can look at your power distribution. This is everything that we just saw, just in a little bit different of a graphic. There's also towing, so if you do have a trailer, you can monitor all of this information along with the driver assistance to be able to tow. And then scrolling down one more time is navigation. You can go through your phone and audio, as well as different settings, just to set this up the way that you would like to. Very helpful to have all of that front and center. And then over on the left side of the steering wheel, there is a pedal adjustment. So I can push on this to bring them closer to me or farther away for better comfort. There's the electronic parking brake along with all the headlight and fog light adjustments along with the bed light. You can release the tailgate and the side mirrors also have spotlights. So you can turn those on and off if you're using this truck at night. Gives you some more light, of course. Really nice trim piece surrounding one air vent. There's a little bit of storage up top along with the Bang & Olufsen sub. And then we have this 12 inch screen just underneath that. A lot of information to go through. All the presets are on the bottom. You can go into audio as well as phone, pull up the navigation in full screen. On the favorites tab here, you can actually pick one of these that will go down below. So just depending on what you use the most, let's say that you need to go into the zone lighting. You can quickly have that pulled up in the lower section. 
So if you're using this truck at night, you can quickly get into the zone lighting, turn everything on with all of these zones. You can have the side mirrors, the rear lights, even the headlights all on to give you better visibility. Under apps, there's Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so you can go through that information along with all these other settings that you can monitor and set up. There's different features you can go into, like your driver assistance, even your towing. And then on this right side, you can go through some of that information. So let's say you have navigation on this left side. You can go through some more information like that zone lighting or your off-road settings. You can look at your fuel economy on a smaller screen here. And then just above that screen are a few toggle switches like the downhill assist control as well as traction control, the hazards and parking sensors. This last one is for the camera system. So right now it's showing the backup camera along with the guidelines. This even has the auto brake hold if you need to use that. So it's really nice to have that feature. We can put the vehicle into reverse, of course, and it will pull up that camera. But if you need to pull it up separately, you can. There's an air vent on both sides. On this left side is the pro trailer system. So if you're unfamiliar with backing up a trailer or you need a little bit of assistance, you can actually steer the truck with this knob to be able to back up, which is great. There's the trailer braking system as well as the four wheel drive selectors and the rear locking diff. Over on the right side, this top button here is nicely incorporated, which also functions to open up the upper glove box. And then right in the middle, we have volume and tuning for the radio. This button here will give you three different diagrams that you can look at. There's the time and the date, you can shut it off and then have it back to that screen there. A few other music controls. Over on this right side is a 12 volt along with a three prong outlet. And then all the climate control settings are nicely laid out. This does have dual zones, so there's driver and passenger, as well as the heated seats, ventilated seats, and even the heated steering wheel. Fan speed is right in the middle, along with where you like the air to go and a few other controls. Underneath that, if we close this, you can see all of the wood trim on that cover, and then opening it back up, there's the wireless charging pad, along with a USB, USB-C, and a little bit of storage space. On this right side is two cup holders along with a little bit of storage in the middle. There's a little bit of storage in front of the shifter if you have it up. However, pushing on this button will make it completely flat. So if you're using this as a work truck or you just need a nice flat surface, you can easily do that. You do have to be in park, of course. And there's even more storage space on both sides. So there's some on the driver and some on the passenger side. And looking at this shifter, the release is up front. I can go into reverse for that backup camera, go all the way into drive and even use the M mode button to be able to shift using plus and minus. So if you're towing or you're off road, you can hold the gear, which is great to see. The center armrest is finished off in leather. And if I open this up, there's a massive amount of room with that removable tray if you need to get that out of the way. And then the second glove box has even more storage for all of that room. Really nice trim piece running right through the middle. We'll take another look at these black leather seats. And like I mentioned earlier, this does have the sunroof as well as the sunshade. So those controls in the center will open that up. We also have the sunroof adjustments along with the dome lights, the power control for that sliding rear glass and a sunglass holder is up here as well. So now getting this 2022 Ford F-150 Lariat out on the road, I just finished reviewing an XLT with the three and a half liter EcoBoost V6. So it's really cool to be able to drive these back to back with this V8 engine to see if there's really a difference. Now, both of them have a very similar towing rating as well as a payload capacity, which is right around 3000 pounds, give or take just a little bit of weight there. But I know a lot of truck owners really like that V8. If you're buying a truck, you should get the V8 engine. However, the V6 does offer a little bit more MPG if that's something that you're interested in. And so with this V8, this is really why you're going to buy the V8. You do not get that from the EcoBoost V6. So if you want that noise, you want that V8 engine for your pickup, Ford offers a few other engine options as well. There's even a 2.7 liter that you can get. So just depending on your needs and what you want, really cool to be able to get a few different engine options. Now, aside from that, this is a very luxurious truck. We have a lot of options like the Bang & Olufsen, this large screen in the center. We even have the full radar cruise along with the distance pacing. It's really easy to set up. I have it set with the vehicles in front of me. I have the distance pacing and it actually shows you a diagram of a mini F-150. I think this is a really cool technology feature and it's really awesome to see in a pickup truck like this, in a work truck like this, if you're driving this every single day, and on turns here, it's gonna lose the traffic there, so I do need to still be paying attention, obviously. But if you're using this as a work truck, you're driving this from job site to job site, you are going to put a lot of seat time 
behind the wheel of this. This is a really nice aid, especially if you're in heavy traffic. It will do the gas and the brake for you. So it's awesome to see that while this is a work truck, it's a pickup truck, it has a lot of awesome amenities to keep you comfortable while you're behind the wheel. It's also super comfortable, very quiet. There's no road noise, wind noise. It's a nice place to be. It also has a lot of interior storage for all the tools, documents, whatever you have to bring with you for the day. You have a place for it. Even with the back seats folding up, I think that is very versatile. For this full-size truck, there's really not much to complain about. Now handling with it, coming around this turn, is what you'd expect for a truck. But then, we get that V8 exhaust note. And so now as we switch over to the POV angle, let's start off with visibility real quick. Over the right shoulder, you can easily see out. Same with the left shoulder. I love driving pickup trucks because there's really no blind spots. Makes it very open feeling. We have the sunroof as well, the moonroof that you can open up just to provide even more light. But let's pop it into the manual setting because you can shift using this. We'll go down to second gear and give it some gas here. Now pushing on that plus button there, it's not the quickest response, but this is a pickup truck. It doesn't need to do that. You can use those to hold the gear, as I mentioned earlier, but it's pretty cool. If you want to use that, you can to shift through the 10 speed automatic and you can see underneath the gear selection there what gear we are currently in. While this is a 10 speed, it doesn't feel like it has an excessive amount of gears. So even though we are going around 46, 47 miles an hour, we're in ninth gear, it will quickly shift to the gear obviously that you need to be in without it feeling like it's going through too many steps. So I think it's a really good transmission. It's going to help with better fuel economy, especially if you're out on the road. Seven, eight, nine, and 10 are mainly the overdrive gears, but it's gonna keep that RPM almost at 1,000 RPM while we're going 50 miles an hour. Pretty impressive to see. So it's nice to see that technology just to help aid with a little bit better MPG. And as we come around this turn, it handles well for a truck. But that exhaust note is really what you want to hear. You can get another look at this interior from this perspective. Definitely has an upscale look for this truck. So like I mentioned earlier, if you're daily driving this, you have a lot of amenities, a very, very nice place to be. And as far as turning radius goes, we just made it. So it's a pretty tight turning circle. That's impressive. We'll do one last acceleration. And I think that's gonna wrap it up for this 2022 Ford F-150 Lariat. Once again, huge shout out to Mooresville Ford for providing this truck for me today. Make sure you guys check out their website. That link is down below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our daily uploads and give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the next video.